Let's talk about some new recruiting prediction machine picks from you, Steve Wiltfong. Uh, let's start with Auburn. You got two picks in, one for Elijah Melendez, one for Usman Chroma. What happened this weekend for you to make those predictions? Well, I talked to Elijah Melendez a couple times this weekend uh, after he decommitted from Miami. He had a great visit to Auburn, just loves the chemistry he has with the staff and the recruits and 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 uh, being in that environment. He's said as much since since we put in the RPM that Auburn is his leader. So those are the easy picks. They just got to get it to the finish line. And then Usme Chroma, you know, talking to sources that spent time with him on the planes, uh, people around him and around that recruitment, they point to Auburn leading. So Chad Simmons and I went with the on three RPM in favor of Auburn on Sunday morning. Uh, now, Florida State, Tennessee, Georgia, some of the other contenders. Uh, so we'll see if they can change the momentum in this mm -hmm. recruitment. But as Auburn chases the number one class in the country, number one tops they're top five right now but deuce knight i think he is their next one i i i wouldn't be surprised if we see deuce knight back on the planes this weekend for their next home game and if you get deuce knight he is going to be a lightning rod recruiter he's got great energy great personality uh, the, his peers in this class like him. And I think he's having conversations behind the scenes with recruits about potentially playing with Auburn, even though he is committed to Notre Dame. Just kind of getting a feel who? for what Deuce. Just kind of no, getting I a know, feel. No, I know Deuce is. I'm saying, who is he talking to? The people want well, to know. Well, he was just that all. He was just that Auburn, right? So he's there with all those blue chippers. Elijah Melendez, who was just on campus. I think Andrew Babalola is one that wasn't there. That uh, He's involved in conversations with Andrew Babalola about what it would look like if they all came to Auburn. But you got Babalola, you got Chroma, you got Melendez, you got Naeem Offord, uh, you got Sam Carter, the receiver committed to Georgia Tech, who's having a great start to his senior season. Um, the, Auburn, they're in the hunt for the number one class in the country. Mm -hmm. And Melendez and Chroma are two more that we like where Auburn stands right now. Yeah. And Steve, if you were wondering, I still got it. I broke a little news this weekend. Had Elijah Melendez on the inside scoop on Sunday. Fresh off that Auburn visit, he named Auburn his leader right here on the On3 Recruits channel. So I still, I, I, I'm no Steve Wilfong, but I can still break some news. No, we love to see it. And people need to hit like and subscribe so they know when to watch those interviews with guys like Elijah Melendez to watch our recruit reaction show on Saturday night. We need to let the viewers pick the name of that show. Uh, Josh, but yeah. I'm excited. Recruit, re recruit Reaction is just a placeholder. We, we, we can do better with that title. If people want to draw us up a little design with you and me on it, too, we'll take one of those as well. But I'm excited to get back on with you on Saturday night, Nebraska, Colorado, kind of the game that we're featuring. But we'll be looking around the entire country. Kentucky's going to have some key recruits on campus for South Carolina. Certainly Michigan versus Texas in mm, Ann Arbor. That's a big, big noon kickoff. I love noon kickoff. I wish the big game was always at noon and we would, <laughs> you and we would rock our – We'd rock our show at 3.15, but we're going to be, be up late. We'll be up late. 